Hi, Capricorn. I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for January 2023. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in January and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign some months, your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This recording is for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Rising, and Capricorn Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tower Deck in these readings. And happy birthday to the Capricorns out there. I wish you a very happy, healthy, and blessed solar return. All that being said, Capricorn, now on to your January 2023 Psychic Tarot reading. Hi Capricorn, first card you have is the Eight of Cups, and this is turning away from something that's not working for you anymore, emotionally speaking, and you're heading off on a new journey with a stick of power and control in your hand, and even though the journey is unknown, you're still willing to take it. Some of you are leaving behind, it could even be like a job. I get like a group, a group of people. Now, for some of you, maybe you're leaving a love partner uh, or a relationship of some sort, but I feel like it's more like a group. So I feel like you're leaving a club, a group, or an organization, or a job. And I feel like you're doing it because the you're fed up with how people are behaving. And it's like you want to seek firmer ground firmer footing. So you may not feel totally secure uh, or like it's solid wherever you are. You may not feel like, you know, maybe if it's a job, you don't feel like it's a secure job anymore, or you feel like the company or business or club or group is like on the verge of collapsing. I don't know the reason for firmer footing, but those are the things that come up to me. And I feel like you're kind of like putting yourself out there in a new way. And you may be on the hunt, like hunting something down is what my guides say. So it could be hunting for a new club or group or organization that you want to join. It could be hunting for a new job that you want to work where, you know, where you want to work. And I feel like there's a lot of little things that were like eroding you over time, like drip, drip, drip. I don't feel like this is a sudden, you know, all of a sudden situation that's making you want to leave. I feel like it's, it's been eroding you over time, wearing you down. And you feel like there's a brighter future out there for you somewhere, but it isn't here. Whatever here is, the club, the group, or organization, the love relationship, or the job, uh, you, you feel like there's a brighter future for you out there. And you may really feel like you're going to discover what makes you tick, what makes you happy, because whatever this scenario is, has not been making you happy. And you may feel like, I'm going to show off my talents and skills elsewhere. Because you may feel like wherever this is that you're leaving, your talents and your skills or your knowledge or you yourself as a person was not appreciated. And there's a bit of defiance in you where I feel like, well, actually, my guides are saying, uh, it's like they're giving me the impression you're going to be in a higher position or have a higher level. Like, it's almost like, I'll show you. That's like what you're thinking. Like, oh, yeah, well, I'll show you. I'm going to get a bigger job, a better job, a job that pays me more 
or I'm going to go to a bigger club group or organization where it has more influence or it's uh, more important or more fun. So that's what I get off of the Eight of Cups card for you. The next card you have in your reading is Six of Cups, which is a past life reincarnation relationship that you're reincarnating in this lifetime to solve karma. You could stay together to the end of your days, or you could fight, argue, and break up, or you know, end the relationship, whatever type of relationship it is, and karma is solved. This could also indicate children, if you have children, or it could indicate fond childhood memories from your childhood. It's like you want to become more serene and peaceful and something has been disruptive for you. Now, this could be a, a love relationship was, is disruptive and is not making you feel serene and peaceful anymore for some of you. It could also be a family relationship. If you've been at odds with someone in your family, you may feel like you want to discontinue your association with them. Maybe not forever, maybe for a while, or maybe forever. And you may feel like there's no peace here with me dealing with this person and communicating with them. And you may feel like you have to stop being berated by everybody or taken advantage of by everybody or put down by everybody or manipulated by everybody. Uh, maybe it's a combination of all of those things. You may feel like wherever it was that you want to leave, that that's also been what's going on. Some of you may be staging a home to sell. And if you're seeking a job, you may be like changing your resume, updating your resume and updating something to do with how you handle job interviews or how you make any kind of, uh, yeah, like interviews or presentations. You may be looking into how can I upgrade how I handle these things? How can I improve it? because it may be something you haven't done in a while. You know, if you've had a job for, you know, five, 10, 20 years and you're leaving the job, you may be like, I got to gussy myself up. I got to get a new suit to go on interviews or I need to update my resume. And that could also apply if you're, you want to meet somebody new. You may feel like I got to update my look uh, and I got to think about how I'm going to handle my approach if I'm trying to meet somebody new and start a new love relationship. These are the thoughts that are, because you're definitely leaving something. You're leaving something that's not been working for you. You also may be thinking very strongly now about, uh, you may feel like you have to be cautious about your money, how you spend your money. And it's like a, a time where you are going to want to believe strongly in the faith that you have. Now, it could be spiritual faith, religious faith. It could be faith in humanity. It could be faith in yourself. So the card that you have next in your reading is the magician. This is the card of the manifester. What you think about, you bring about. What's in the ethers? And in the spiritual plane and in your mind, you can manifest into physical reality and you will have all the tools in front of you with which to do so. Sometimes the magician can be trickster energy, but not usually for me. It, that isn't usually what my guides say with magician. You're like coming up with all these ideas. You're like a boilerplate of ideas is my guide's exact quote. And I'm also hearing you're going to stop with this clunky thinking and you're going to be very determined to make things happen from these ideas that you're coming up with. You're going to be a force to be reckoned with. I hear the collective consciousness of Capricorn saying 
you know, you underestimated me. Now watch what I'm going to do. And you may be very determined that you want to put down roots somewhere else. This could be in a move. It could be in a new love relationship. It could be in a new job. It could be in a new club group or organization. Uh, because I feel whatever you're leaving, you've been in it for a while. Maybe you're an artist and you worked at an art studio or you were a uh, sculptor or you did wheel thrown pottery and you dealt with a particular art studio. Maybe you're leaving that art studio. Maybe you don't like how it's being managed or handled. It could be maybe you have an investor, like a financial investor, and you, you've been using them for a long time. And maybe you don't like their decisions now and how they're investing your money. And you may be leaving that. You've got to think, Capricorn, because you're leaving something here. And uh, I can tell you what my guides say, but... There's so many Capricorns, and this reading is not just for Capricorn Sun, it's Capricorn Rising and Capricorn Moon Sign as well. So, you know, what you're leaving is going to be different for all of you. And you're going to be very pragmatic and very decisive in your decision making. You're really polishing up your thinking cap, and you're going to be making a lot of of decisions about what you want to do. And I really see you, like, I'm seeing you at a desk and a candle is burning. You know, it's, maybe you have a, a lamp, but I'm seeing a candle burning. And you're sitting there with a piece of paper and you're writing things down and you're brainstorming. And I, I so I really feel like you're putting a lot of concerted effort here. You're not just doing something spur of the moment, fly by night, this has been a long time coming. It's almost like you're like the, uh, you're like the phoenix rising from the ashes. And I feel that many of you, you really make the new start. I feel like all these things I'm talking about could be happening in January for some of you, but the new start really feels like it's happening more in the month of February. To get more psychic messages and predictions from my spirit guides, please check the description box below this video for the links for my most recent videos for Vimeo. I look into very specific topics using a variety of divination tools to bring you more accurate predictions for your astrological signs. These links and descriptions are also available on the videos page of my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Thank you. And the fourth card in your reading, Capricorn, very likely could be you because it's the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is an earth sign person, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. You know, I, I pick up that some of you Capricorns are going to feel very close to someone you meet. Now, they could be an earth sign person. But maybe this is just you feeling close to somebody you meet. So you got to think about that. It could be an earth sign, sun, moon, or rising, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo person. Or it could be just saying you, because you could be the Knight of Pentacles, are going to feel very close to somebody you're going to meet. And I feel like you're going to, if this is love, I feel like you're going to do things and handle things differently in this relationship. And I feel like you're going to do a lot of feeling them out before you get into anything. Like really taking your time with it, not rushing, not jumping from the frying pan into the fire. You don't want that. Some of you are going through a series of events, my guides are saying, where you're changing a lot of things in your life, and it, it could be in relation to diet and exercise. And because you may be feeling like you want to have better health, you know, maybe you're going to give up sugar or gluten or dairy 
or, you know, maybe you're going to become vegan. Or you're, you want to steer clear of certain things. Maybe it's alcohol. Maybe it's cigarettes. Maybe it's drugs. I don't know. But I get you, for some of you, you definitely want to steer clear of certain things. And it would have to do with something you're eating or drinking or taking. And you could feel like your world has been turned upside down. Or internally. Like, uh, you could feel like you've gotten punched in the gut. Sorry if you see that little thing flying. I have pepper plants over here on my desk that I had outside that I'm winterizing for next spring. And there's little gnats. I have gnat catchers over there, but they're still flying around. So if you see little black dots flying around, there's still gnats in here, unfortunately. Um, I do get the feeling that Capricorns are going to feel like they've been punched in the gut or that uh, their life has been turned upside down in some way. And so this is causing you to be motivated and inspired to spread your wings and fly, to make change. And I feel some of you feel like the change has to begin with you. And that could be, like I said, changing your diet, changing the different, like eliminating foods or things you're drinking or eating. Uh, and it can also be in other forms. There's other things you can do to change about yourself. So the card you have last in your reading for this January 2023 Capricorn, you have the devil. And this is a card that symbolizes being trapped and bound to an unhealthy relationship or trapped and bound to an unhealthy situation. It could also be addicted to something, a relationship, drugs, alcohol, sex, spending money, gambling, uh, anything that you could be at shopping, anything you could be addicted to. You know, there's either a person or a situation that you've been brought down or like it could be a job. It could be a love partner. It could be a club, group or organization. It could be a family member. Uh, you got to think about this. But I get like this. There's something that you've been attached to that has brought your energy down, created negativity for you. And you may at one point have thought that this situation or person uh, was the solution and at one time, but now you're finding it's not. And you may feel like you really want to preserve your energy and that you want to steer clear of anything that falls into a negative category for you. And you may be questioning, like, how do I break ties with you or it or the situation? You may feel like, how is this going to happen? Some of you may not find that this is going to be an easy thing to do. But I feel that some of you, even though this is a general reading uh, and timing will be different for all of you, I feel like by the end of January, some of you are leaving something. Now, as I've said before, if you've watched me for a while, there are people that write me and say, what you are saying now in this reading happened to me last year. So these things may have already occurred to you in your life. They could be happening right now. And for some of you, it could happen later than this. That's the nature of psychic readings, especially general readings. And you may be finding out a lot of little things that you don't like and that you don't trust. So you may be finding out at your job or in the love relationship or in the club or group or organization or family member or whatever, you know, a facility you use uh, that you thought you knew people. And you may find out like they're not trustworthy you can't believe in them. You can't trust them. And this may be difficult because you may have really had high hopes for whatever this is and for it to continue. 
And I do feel like your life is going to take a turn for the better once you're out of whatever the situation is. Uh, but it may take a few months for you to really see that. Some of you, it will take all the way till July to totally feel like whew, I'm free and clear of that. Now, it's odd. I'm going to say this because uh, I don't find this happens that much in these general readings here. But yours really seems to be circling around a theme. And the theme all starts with this. Eight of Cups. Uh, so if you find this reading does not resonate with you or make sense to you, I highly recommend you watch your rising sign and or your moon sign because your messages may really be coming to you strongly. And I could be really talking to Capricorn rising and moon sign people more than Capricorn sun sign people. I can't tell that. Only you will know. So the best gemstone crystal I got for Capricorns to work with, use, and wear in the month of January 2023, you got Malachite. And Malachite clears and activates the chakras and in two, attunes your chakras to spiritual guidance, attunes you, your spirit, to spiritual guidance. It opens the heart chakra to unconditional love. Malachite encourages risk-taking and change. It helps break unwanted ties and old patterns. It teaches responsibility for your actions, thoughts, and feelings. Malachite helps heal your heart chakra uh, overall. So I got to say, some of the signs this month, the gemstones are really, really making sense for the cards that came up. And you in particular, especially the encouraging risk taking and change and breaking unwanted tides and patterns. Clearly, this is the right gemstone for Capricorns for January 2023. It's really going to be a stone that's going to bring you in balance and feel like you're being true to yourself and that you found your true self. If you have felt lost, this stone will help you feel like you're back in balance and grounded and centered in yourself. And it's going to help you when you have to make moves and make decisive, taking decisive action in January. This stone is going to help you with that. And anything that you resisted before, possibly change, it's going to help you overcome that. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you're already subscribed and you're not getting notified, you may want to click that notification bell again and then click it again because there's been a lot of changes here on YouTube and that may be why you're not getting the notifications. And please do consider liking this video and sharing it with others because it will help me reach more people and it will help this channel to grow. And I would appreciate that greatly. And if you would like to get any of this special video series I record for my Vimeo on demand pages, where I use a variety of divination tools to look into very specific topics for each sign of the zodiac, you can find the most recently recorded videos. Links are posted down below in the description box in the show more section. And those links, if you click on them, will take you to those videos on Vimeo. And then you can pick whichever zodiac sign you want. You can also get them by going to my website at the luckymermaid.com videos page. There you will see all the video series I have recorded. You can go to the different series, read what divination tools I used, 
how long the predictions go out for, and then you just click on whatever zodiac sign link you want, your sun sign, your rising sign, or your moon sign, or somebody else's link, uh, you know, sign that you want to hear about, and that link will take you to that video on Vimeo. Now, I won't go into all the video series listed down below because there are many, but I'm just going to name a few. So if you would like to get the psychic crystal readings that I do for each month, so if you want January 2023's uh, psychic crystal reading for your zodiac sign, that link is down below and it's also on my website. Remember, these crystal readings are like a continuation or an expansion of the psychic tarot readings I'm doing here on YouTube. Also, I did two New Year's specials this year, too. So the first is my psychic tarot readings for the new year of 2023 for each sign of the zodiac. And I also did psychic crystal readings for 2023 for each sign of the zodiac. You're going to get a lot of messages and predictions there. I looked into every category I could think of in those crystal readings. I looked into how the year is going to affect you, uh, what you need to be cautious of, what are the blessings in the areas of work, business, love, health, family, and, you know, other, any other predictions that came up. So you may want to check them out. And in the psychic tarot readings, I did 16 cards in total. <laughs> so there's a lot of predictions there for general readings for you. And if you can do it, you know, it might help you if you can watch your rising sign and your sun sign both. Also, don't forget, you're still being affected by the eclipses that we had in the at the end of October and in the beginning of November. And I always do video series or I try to do video series every time we have eclipses. So the full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, November 8th, 2022, psychic tarot, crystal and oracle card readings are available on Vimeo for each sign of the zodiac. And the eclipse effects from the solar eclipse in Scorpio, October 25th, 2022, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings for each sign of the zodiac. Remember, eclipses bring endings and beginnings. And when I recorded both of those video series, the predictions went out well, well past six months. Usually eclipse effects last six months, but in both of those video series, I was getting messages and predictions that went out further than that. So you may really want to check them out. Also, uh, my Mars retrograde psychic tarot scopes for 2022-2023 for each zodiac sign are available. And remember, we this started, that pre-Mars retrograde phase started in September of 2022. The official Mars retrograde ending is January 12th, but you're still being affected by Mars retrograde all the way in the post-shadow phase until the middle of March 2023. So you may want to check that out. Uh, as I said, there's other video series links down below. Please be sure to check them out. I put a lot of work and effort into these psychic predictions and messages for you guys uh, because many people want private readings with me and I really can't get to uh, all the people on the list. I have over 2,000 people on my cancellations list and my wait list. So this is the best way to get messages and predictions from me and my spirit guides in the short term. Also, if you would like to make a donation and help support the readings that I do here on YouTube, I have a link down below in the description box that's connected to PayPal. And I want to thank you so much to those of you who have been so kind and generous and donated to my channel. It does help me a lot 
and it does mean a lot to me. So thank you so very much for that. And oftentimes I think of saying your names of who donated. And then I think some people don't want other people to know that they watch Psychic Readings. So just know I do see the uh, donations and I do truly appreciate it. So thank you so much for that. Also, if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides channeled through me that you're not going to see here on a video format on YouTube, you can follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram. I pull, uh, and I also have been putting them on my community pages on YouTube now because some people are bailing on social media platforms. They don't like them anymore or as much as they used to. So I am posting them here on YouTube, but they're in writing. And many people find that these predictions and messages speak to them. Maybe not the entire five paragraphs, but here and there, or some people do find the whole message it makes sense to them. I do believe if you feel drawn to check them out, that there is some message or prediction or multiple messages and predictions that will resonate with you. And I'd love to see you on my social media pages. I absolutely hope that you all have a wonderful and fantastic January 2023 and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.